Alright, went ahead and um, took our other carbs out of the R6 and we got some other jets in here from another carburetor, which is here. Um, these carbs were maybe the worst carbs that I've ever cleaned. <laughs> totally kegged. Four years of uh, sitting. It came out good. I wish I would have filmed it. I just, I kind of got into it pretty quick, but here's the bike. This is that other R6. And looking at the motor, you can see how bad it was. So, I mean, but it was dyno jet. I, I figured there was some dyno jets in it because there was a sticker on the airbox and the K&N filter and it had the pipe. And sure enough, 142. So, for the mains, it's got uh, the pilot changed out. Let me see here. Got it in some Ken dip. Let's see how. Uh, Not tune it to see how rough that looks. These have been in here a little longer. It's not cleaning out. Brand new. And these are 38s for the pilots. And the way you can tell, if you don't know, is your needles will have. Just a form. Yep, there we go. We gotta have a jet kitted R6 with an accelerator kit, and hopefully we uh, we'll do a carb tune on it if it needs it. We'll try to get this thing running good. All right. So I'll uh, film putting them together, I guess, and we'll slam in the bike. And then we'll do a second test run at Sequence 01, like that's on my web. Uh, on the, uh, the Sequence 01 is a, that test run that was rough, so we're going to try another one tomorrow. And there it is almost together with the, with the white polish frame. It's not 100% yet. Yeah, you can see the adjuster there. That's how you'll know. So we got lucky. We opened them up, and sure enough, they did... Uh, a jet kit in them, so we're gonna put the jet kit in these carbs, or we might just use these carbs because they clean, man. They they came out great. We're gonna get and put this together, the carbs. I'll show you some of the parts laid out after it's cleaned. You probably seen the tray yesterday, how black it was. That basically came out of the carbs, all that uh, mum. You get your needles, your pilots, float needles, main jet holder, barb holder bolts, and your main jets, which are 42s. So this is going to up us more throttle response. It's just going to be better performance because we got the exhaust. These are the cap bolts, these are the car bolts. Choke diaphragm and stuff over there they're all good they look good it's carbs so um, I didn't film clean them but I'll go through the process real quick of the ports to blow out and how I do it roughly on clean carbs or cleaner and they sat overnight so we're gonna knock some mung off wet them up and then blow them off with the air we'll install those in that motor see if it, see if it runs the carbs that came off that motor are going to go on that bike over there. All right, so let's get at it. I don't know. It takes a while to do carbs, you know. So it was hard to even think of filming yesterday. I mean, I could have. I gotta have someone else maybe film me or something on that one. You know, three hours of work, and they're not even done. You know. I don't know how I would film something like that yet. I have some carb videos out there, but uh, actually I show a clip of what these look like from an, another bike that sat about 10 years or 5 years. This was 5 years. The ones I will show you here in the clip were pretty much the same. So, here's the clip. Oh. F2 carbs after how many years? Since a decade. Freaking 9-11. <laughs> Just prior 9-11.
Yeah, these carbs haven't been cleaned since like Nam. Back in Nam. Look at this is the cause of ancient <laughs> this is fossil fuel, right? Zip it up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's it returning to its normal state. <laughs> Carb thing will do that in justice. Oh yeah, this will come right out, man. And this here, the float stick, obviously. All your jets, you got your main jets. All everything's Dude, completely uh, kicked. Ooh. So, ooh. Think you could smoke that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like opium. Okay, so it's been a long time. It's ancient. Wow. So, we'll go ahead and clean these out. Number one, obviously we'll do the, hopefully our diaphragms aren't ripped. This is frozen solid, obviously, here. So. Hey, J hey uh, Brian, look at these, dude. Oh, that's a resin. All right, yeah, they look bad, right? I mean, these were as bad and, you know, gone. It's just terrible. So, all right. So your fuel line, your fuel system itself, fuel comes in. These are your main needles where your floats sit and block off fuel. Here. Just want to check, see if you got air coming through. You know, these didn't have air before. They do. Just every hole. I thought I got that last night. I'm not going to talk, I'm just going to kind of work on them a little bit here. Maybe I'll get you closer and higher too. Watch your eyes, man, this stuff hurts you. <laughs> Bad. You want to get, you know, fuel. Again, real quick, being that we're here in it. Something small, you need, you know, guitar string works. I got a, a kit, I don't know where the hell it is though, so I'm just gonna use a bread tie, but not like a public say bread tie. It's, it's actually thinner than that, it's a very small diameter wire, smaller than a bread tie from Publix, um, smaller than your smallest guitar string for these here. I got like a soft so I can block the air off so I can hear it. I'll go ahead and hit some of these main jets. Not the mains, but the intake. See how they're all clean? That's what you want. Pretty equal pressure.
was here. Sounds a little clogged, that one. Alright, start doing some assembly. Oh, these, the jets. This is cool about this tool also. I mean, I could see through this one, but generally. Let me back this up a little bit. See how this will, like, take this jet? So you can hear it. You can see through it also. Do them all. Pilot jets are very important. You don't need to. You could just hit with air. This is a very small diameter hole. The main jets. Where well, you can do the main jets. Everybody says don't hit the rubbers if you hit it. You're fine. You don't want to soak too long. Putting this uh, carb together. I'm about to try it out in a minute. Putting the main jet holders in now. And um, it shouldn't be, uh, I don't know how long it'll take. It ain't gonna take too long to slam it together. I'm gonna have to balance them out, but maybe I can let the balance go to later. You know, I know it's gonna run better, so. Jets. He's going to call me back. Yeah. Yeah, let's go down a competition cycle or something, man. We'll go down there and look at some shit. Cool. 
Yeah, I mean it works. Tank bags are good. I'm just putting in the pilot. I'm just putting the pilot jets in there. Pilots. The needles. Let me get you close up on one here. I'm gonna show you why they're out of the bike. I don't know how close I can get. Is that close? Is it focused? Yeah, I guess it is. Move this out of the way. Man, it is actually focused, isn't it? These are very important, your rubbers. And you need these to depress nice and free. Okay. These were able to be freed up with the rubbers on and cleaned. These, however, weren't. So you can drop this in your uh, chemical or be more aggressive with them because the rubbers are off. Grab a rubber. Force it on. Just give it a half a turn, that way you know. Try not to disrupt this too much. It's a little stiff still, that one. I'm gonna PV blaster on it. Yeah, I should clean it later. If there's an issue with it, we know where to look.
do the opposite corners first. You don't want to just cramp these down. Do them like, not even like, just really lightly. Just like anything. You know, you got to think the gasket's been through some hell just now, too, with all we've been up to. They're not probably sitting in the same plane they used to be. I didn't number them, but whatever. If they leak, we'll tighten them more. You know, dismantling them, there's a process to doing it when they're really stiff. That was, I really should have um, filmed. I tighten them all up. Not that tight. Just slide them up. Maybe like six pounds, I guess, but you'd go flat and then the quarter turn or less. And that's plenty. You'll feel it. Now, if this is your bike and you're jetting it out, you're gonna have to open these up again. You know, you don't wanna have a <coughs> stripping bolts out and stuff. You gotta give a good screwdriver too. This one in the box you got. Totally missing a screw. <coughs> Go back to that. Diaphragms. Carbs take quite a while if they're really bad, and then you gotta just put time in. Job's done, we'll install them in the bike and then we'll go from there with
another thing about these bikes that's real important. You know, your airbox tube connections. Get a start up on this damn thing. <clears throat> we'll go with the old tank for right now. So we got it's clean, there's gas, the filter's good. Let's see what gets up. No, I don't run, it's just I want it to run good, smooth, you know, there's a little bit of choke. Better, dude. Response better. Just everything. I need to see it on the road, though. So, all right. <laughs> 